Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. Good morning. Our opening hymn is number 105, It Came Upon a Midnight Clear. <clears throat> Amen. 
angels sing. Still through the cloven skies they come with peaceful wings unfurled. And still their heavenly music flows through all the weary world. Above its sad and lonely plains, they bend on hovering wing, and ever o'er its pebble sounds the blessed angels sing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus be with you. As we gather this morning to celebrate the Feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we pause and ask Jesus for pardon and forgiveness for our sins. Lord Jesus, who came to turn our hearts and hands for deeds of violence to works of peace, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, who came to help us lay aside the works of darkness and to live honorably as in light, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come to gather into your kingdom those who are vigilant and ready for your return. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of the Blessed Mary 
bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation. Grant, we pray that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace so shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May God bless us in his mercy. May God, God bless, bless us in, in his, his mercy. mercy. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth, among all nations, your salvation. May, may God, God bless, bless us, us in his, his mercy. May the nations be glad and exult, because you rule the peoples in equity. The nations on the earth you guide. May God bless us, us in his, his mercy. mercy. May the peoples praise you, O God, May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. May God bless us in his mercy. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, <clears throat> when the fullness of time had come, God sent his Son born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into your, our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Hallelujah. In the past, God spoke to us through his ancestors, through the prophets. In these days, he has spoken to us through his Son. Hallelujah. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips, should you may worthily today to proclaim his holy gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. <coughs> the shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, 
glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the solemnity of the motherhood of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the second reading today, um, we're told that we can address God as Abba Father. At the time of Jesus, no Jew would ever have even thought of speaking to God as Abba Father. It was too much of an intimate term. Um, God is so superior. He's the creator of the whole universe. He's so far above us. But through sending the Son, Jesus, to be our Savior, we now have a new relationship with him because we can address him as Abba, Father. And the term Abba means it's a very affectionate term, the term of daddy or whatever. And the Jews just never could imagine having such an intimate relationship with God. But through Jesus, we have that relationship and how privileged we are. And even more privileged are we in just a few minutes, we can come up and hold out our hands and receive Jesus himself into our very hearts, into our bodies, into our lives. He wants to become completely a part of us as he wants one to, someday wants us all to become sharers in his very divine nature and his kingdom in heaven. And so we have cause to rejoice. I like the Alleluia verse. Uh, in times past, God revealed himself uh, to our ancestors through the prophets. Every now and then when I visit the, the homebound or people in the nursing home, they'll have a table there and they'll have a, the pieces of a puzzle spread out all over. And I look at the puzzle and sometimes you only see a few pieces. You really don't have any idea what it's going to be. But they always have the box near, nearby and all you have to do is take one glimpse at the box and the cover in the box and you get the whole picture. Well, in a sense, throughout the Old Testament, each of the prophets had a different piece of the puzzle as to who God was. Um, Isaiah stresses the holiness of God. Um, Amos stresses the justice of God. Hosea stresses the, the love of God. And with each, um, each prophet, you get a little better understanding of who God is, but we don't have the total picture until Jesus comes. But because Jesus is the word of God, when he comes, we finally know completely who God is. As St. Uh, Paul says in his letter to the Ephesians, Jesus is the image of the invisible God. If you want to know that God loves us, look at Jesus. Uh, he says, no one can do greater love than this than to get laid on his life for his friends. And that's what Jesus did for us on the cross. Does God forgive us our sins? Look at Jesus hanging on the cross. They're still mocking him. He's suffering excruciating pain. And he prays, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. So Jesus is the image of the invisible God. We come to know who God is through Jesus. And we can approach God through Jesus as his Abba sons and daughters. So we truly are privileged and blessed. And we need to think about that often. Realize what an intimate relationship we have with God. And then, of course, we need to live accordingly. And we have to try to live every day as sons and daughters of God, living a life of holiness, setting a good example for others, and drawing closer to God every day through prayer and reflection by what we say and do. And then to reflect his love to others by what we say and do. So think about how privileged we are, how blessed we are, how lucky we are, and give thanks and praise to God every time you come here to celebrate the liturgy, and especially this morning as we do so. So with that in mind, let's now stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. 
For us men and and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and and rose again again on the third day in in accordance accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He He will will come come again again in glory to judge judge the living living and the dead, and his his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. O God, our Heavenly Father, you sent your Son Jesus to be our Savior. Through his death and resurrection, we now have intimacy with you and can address you as Abba, Father. Thank you for allowing us to have such an intimate relationship with you. Help us always to live accordingly. Grant us this, Lord, in the favors we now ask in Jesus' name. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Archbishop George Lucas, for all parishioners throughout the Archdiocese of Omaha, that we may grow in love of Jesus Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the innocent victims of the war in Gaza and Israel and Russia and Ukraine, they pay that peace may soon come to them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, that they may experience the healing presence of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who died, that they may share in Christ's risen glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who were buried from St. Isidore's Church this past year, and for all of our loved ones who have died this past year, that they may know the joys of eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For more vocations to the priesthood and religious life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of our special intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray that this new year will become a world, a world, a day of peace throughout the world, especially between the war between Russia and the Ukraine, and also the uh, one in Israel. And we may have peace in our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are traveling this day, that they reach their destination safely, we pray to, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And that the new year will be a year of grace for all of us, in which we grow in our love for the Lord and our love with one another, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we offer this Mass today for the living and deceased of the Tim and Betty Christensen family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, our Father in heaven, please grant us these and all our needs, for which we pray to you today in Jesus' name, for he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer with earth is, earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread, uh, bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Wash away my iniquity, cleanse me 
of my sins. Thank you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Let us pray. O God, who in your kindness begin, begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginning of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of her virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal life, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and into willing into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim, proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until you come again. And therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection, we offer you, you Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to stand in your presence and minister to you. Humble, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, 
together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine tradition, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, Father who, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. O Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. Peace and peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join me in making a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to repent 
body of Christ. Since I cannot receive you at this moment, come sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you if you're already there, deny myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Communion hymn is number 86, Joy to the World. <clears throat> Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare him room. Heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven, nature sing. Joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Let us our songs implore. While fields and floods, rocks, hills, and plains, repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy. Repeat, repeat the sounding joy. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders, wonders of his love. Let us pray. O 
We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life, for we enjoy to proclaim the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's pray together for the successful building of our parish center. Loving Father, Father we, we come, come to you in adoration. adoration. May, May our, our hearts be open to our guidance on this journey. journey. You yeah, have bestowed on your church, church community the gift of openly worship and praise, and praise your name. We humbly, humbly give thanks, thanks for the opportunity to serve, to serve you with our gifts and, and talents. Jesus, pour out your Holy Spirit as we gather in prayer to build a faith-filled parish center for all generations. Most sacred-hearted Jesus, Jesus, pray for us. Blessed, Blessed Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary, pray for us. Saint Isidore, pray, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and grant you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord by your works. Thanks be to God. Our final hymn is number 102. Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. Peace on earth and mercy mild, God in sinners reconciled. Joyful all ye nations rise, join the triumph of the skies. With angelic hosts proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Christ by highest heaven adore, Christ the everlasting Lord. Late in time, behold him come, offspring of the See, hail the incarnate deity, place has been to us to dwell, Jesus our Emmanuel. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors.